Okay, dive for the whale. Woo! Ooh, the hole could use a scrub. Really? Yeah. How hard does it come off? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's so clear, right? Go. Oh, it feels... What? Back here so you can because the sharks always follow the quads will around. Wonderful. Jump it off here, dude. It's cool. Yeah, I'll let it float away. I'll let it float away. I'll let it float away. Float away. Float away. I'd known before we went sailing. I wish I had known not to get a monohull. It's not really necessary unless you truly love sailing. Yeah. If you just want to live on a boat and travel by ocean, the catamaran is perfect. Oh, the dinghy, obviously the dinghy. Yeah. That was one of those hard lessons. Get the dinghy, buy a dinghy that you want and then buy the boat that fit the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have known how relatively safe it is to be out on the water. I remember when we first set off and it was really, really scary and unknown. Even if you have a, a, an equipment malfunction or a failure of some sort, we've always got lots of backups for our, our Navionics. Keith keeps extra parts. He knows how to fix everything on the boat. And so I probably wouldn't have stressed out so much. Good morning. So we're headed to Savi Savi this morning. We got about 12 miles left. Man, good morning, Kiki. Mom's gonna make some breakfast burritos and bacon and eggs. It's gonna be really good. Yes. Yes. It's gonna be so. Oh, she didn't know that. It's the first time we've sailed in as much as a week. No. No motors. It's a nice sail. Six knots. Ten knots of wind on the beam. That ball is getting in our way. While we try to more onto this ball up here. Let's try more onto that one. How's it feeling? I don't have to do school anymore. Feels excellent. I'm sending Cater in there struggling with algebra and all the stuff. I just sit back and play video games. <laughs> ah. I, I, just, I just go kiting. Oh, they're doing school. I just, I'll just go kite. Yeah. Just go, go do that. I'm trying to decide whether these are moving closer to each other or not. I don't think they are. Okay. So we made it to Sabu Sabu. We got onto the mooring ball, finally. And we're gonna go borrow a, a car, a truck from somebody here that was so kind to let us use their vehicle and take a little tour around uh, the island of uh, Vanilla Vu or whichever island we're on, I can't remember exactly. And we're gonna go to the movie, go see Tenet later this evening. Maybe stop by some waterfalls, I'm not sure. Just kind of a day of getting out and about and enjoying Fiji. So let's do it. Hey, come back here, boy. You've had a couple drinks today, haven't you? Ooh, there's like a leech in there. There is where? Ooh, I don't know. Would it smell it? Ooh. We got the kava in case we need to schmooze a local to like You know, him. I wonder if we lit this up in the car, it could be a hot box. the long road and now we are going to hike and I brought some better shoes than flip-flops. Well there's some hot springs here supposedly. Hot springs? Yeah. yeah and then the there's a big waterfall yeah. somewhere. These are my jandals. I'm gonna put my jandals on. Or a jandals swimsuit. No jandals is that. Jandals are shoes. What's the swimsuit? Swimmers. T togs. 
Togs. Togs. Togs? I forget. Okay, well, he gave Kava to the chief, which is part of the ceremony thing, and his daughter took it, the princess. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not making fun of the locals. I'm just, it's just it's just Texas. And he said go to the greenhouse, and I went to the greenhouse. But now I see that there's another greenhouse here. Looks like the chief may live there. Right? We're out of kava. We're out of kava. We only had one kava root. Kava is like a, I don't know what it is, but it's a root. It's a, kind of a, I don't know. Right now I'll explain it. She'll put a definition up on the screen for you. Oh, it's just a, some kind of a tradition where you, yeah. if you want to do something in Fiji, you've got to ask permission from the landowner or the tribe owner. That's right. And usually that means... Uh, That's right. Giving them... Kate didn't even bring her towel. Okay, well, we're probably not going to make it to the waterfalls. We have no water. We have no... Uh, we have no... Uh, time we didn't get up early enough we have time we have like eight hours but we have no water i got the right shoes maybe <laughs> It's dinner time. <laughs> Fine, get it. <laughs> Peter Wright trying to get in there. He can't. He can, poor baby. One hour. One hour. No. Two hours. Oh no, we won't be walking four hours. Oh my. <laughs> No water, no waterfall today. We will not be going to the waterfall today. Hula. Where did it come from? Up there. Up oh, yeah, it's back. I dare you. It's so hot. It is hot. I can't even put my. How hot do you think it is? You want to stay? I want you to sit there. Yeah. Okay. Like 50 degrees. Yeah. Oh, 50, yeah. what is that in Fahrenheit? Uh, it's 100, 100, 105, 106. Yeah, slow. It's fine, you can remove your shoes. Yeah? Yeah. It's not sulfury. No. How are you in it? Dude, like. Ooh, it's just so hot. Oh, gosh. No? No go? So hot. I, I want to go over to the other face. Oh, yeah, cool Jack. Up. There you go. Oh, but that's hot. It's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to get any hotter. I'm pretty hot. I know. <laughs> 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 Look at you. You all got it. You all got it, didn't you? Yeah. This is the hottie right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 but the, the people were very nice yeah. and they spoke lots of English it was cool so it's almost one o'clock and the movie starts at six so we'll just mosey on across the island and We're gonna go see the new mutants at 325 because today is Monday. And then in a couple hours when it's over, we'll see Tenet. No? <laughs> there we go. How was the movie, y'all? It good. was good. It was oh, good. I loved it. I think it was better than Inception. Yeah, the, the first movie we saw was kind of cheesy. The new the mutants. mutants yeah. yeah, but Tenet was good. So back on to the topic of what I wish I'd known about before I went sailing. 
one of the things that, um, it's a challenge, but it's it's not a deal killer. I just didn't know how much walking would be involved and in, in shopping, grocery shopping, and, and jerry jugging, getting the fuel, um, finding good food to eat, trying to go out for dinner. Um, it's, it's definitely more of a challenge than you would think. We're used to living in the suburbs where our favorite restaurants are right around the corner. Our favorite grocery store is right up the street. So sometimes we can't find things that we want, like cilantro or certain fruits and veggies that aren't in season so they don't get shipped to Fiji. And so we just have to kind of modify our, our recipes to with what whatever we have. Driving on the opposite side that you're used to. On the opposite side of the road than you're used to. And always, always, always bring your own bags. Hola. Hola. Not a lot. Nice. Wanna go get something to eat? Come on, Ben. <laughs> We're going out for a fancy lunch. And this looks fancy. This fancy. Cool. Yeah, you know, I do remember this. It was cheap. It was like a dollar, two dollars or something. Yeah, I remember that. Is there a trash dump over here? Okay. Doc? Then where are you going? He's looking for candy. Classic. <laughs> So they serving food? Yeah. Awesome. Just uh, fish and chips here? Yeah. Yeah. That was good last time we ate in. Walking from place to place is definitely a perk, in my opinion, because you're sort of required to get a little exercise if you want to get anything done. Sometimes we rent cars or take a taxi, but if we can anchor close to town, we don't. We enjoy and need the exercise. What are we doing here? I don't know. Y'all came. Y'all were looking for candy here. or something. I wasn't looking. Here. They don't have any. No. Really? Ice cream. Yeah. No candy. Nope. What kind of a store doesn't have candy? Hey Jake. You get a little bicycle. See if they have anything sweet that we can take with us. Huh? I'm on a boat out there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> when we tell people we live on a boat, sometimes it kind of freaks them out because it's such an unusual lifestyle. But most of the time, people are very curious and interested in what it's like, where we've come from, and whether or not we like their country. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Are they as good as your donuts, though? I don't know. No? No, I don't know. Oh. Yours are pretty amazing. Mm hmm. In conclusion, the one thing I really wish I'd known beforehand was just how amazing and truly rewarding this lifestyle would be for our family. If I'd have known that before we set sail, I'd have done it a decade sooner.